Manila has at least five columns, one for the date, account titles, posting reference, debit and credit columns. The majority of the journal entries in SAP Business One come from one of the other modules, and that's sales, purchasing, payment, and inventory documents, post transactions, automatically to the general ledger. However, in GAAP, accrual-based accounting, you sometimes need to make manual journal entries in the general ledger, such as depreciation entries, accrual entries, correcting entries, and the like. Anything in other words that would not come from one of the other SAP Business One modules. When a journal entry is added manually, it is recorded immediately and cannot be deleted, only reversed. Okay, so the purpose of manual journal entries is to record transactions that are not automatically initiated from a sub ledger or from another process with SAP Business One. For example, a manual journal entry might be used to record a finance charge to a customer account or a service fee to a bank account. So let's have a manual journal entry. Example, the company bought a printer for its office at 11,000 and it paid 11,000 pesos paid for by cash. So we record the transaction. When you do post the manual journal entry, should be you go to financials, then you click journal entry. The screen for entering journal entries manually is divided into three areas and that's document header data extended entry mode for an item and items table the three dates in the header default the current system date but you can change them okay so it includes posting date the date determines the posting period and therefore the physical period for the financial reporting you can post it to an earlier date or later if the posting period is unlocked for the posting. Now also the due date, the date that the transaction is due. Now also the document date, the date used for tax reporting purposes. You can refer to one and refer to fields to enter for references. You can put information there so that you will have an uh, associated actual documents, right? Case number four, on the remarks field, input a brief explanation of the transaction being recorded. Say, for example, bought printer for office. And then note if the entry that you're recording is an adjusting entry, tick the box beside adjusting transaction. So it means it's an adjusting entry. Right. So to add an, a debit and a credit amount in the table, debit account and a debit amount in the table, click the first field under the column of the general uh, GL account, then slash BP, a selection list will appear. And this list is the chart of accounts for the for the debit amount. Okay, so click the field under the column debit and enter the amount in figures. The system will just automatically put in currency. So entry for office debit office equipment 11,000 and the credit to cash on hand. So this is the step class. Okay, so you just click financials, then journal entry, then posting date, then remarks, then the entry itself here. And you just add, click add, All right? So that's it class, it's an example. Okay, so another um, journal is the journal voucher. When, when the user is creating a journal voucher, it is used for storing several journal entry drafts. You can change journal voucher as long as they have not been posted yet. Then you can access the journal voucher, make any necessary corrections, and post the entire journal voucher. You do not have to post each journal entry individually. If you do want to post the journal entries individually, however, you can, must create a separate journal voucher for each journal entry draft. You can save an unbalanced journal vouchers as long as it is in draft mode. One of the main purposes of a journal voucher is to park entries that are still subject to supervisor's approval. So example, the accountant wants to park an entry for the purchase of filing cabinets to be paid for by cash worth 20,000. This transaction is still subject to the approval of the management. So you need to go to financials, you need to go to journal vouchers, 
And when the journal voucher window appears, click Add Entry to New Voucher. Journal voucher entry window will appear. Set the date to date today. In the Remarks field, input a short description of the transaction. On the GL account field, click the selection list so that the chart of accounts will appear. And choose double click account, make this entry debit equipment 20,000, credit cash on hand. Click add to voucher. So that is the step financials, journal vouchers, add journal entry to new voucher. Then we'll have the posting date, the due date, and the document date. Then the, the remarks, well, you have to put the purchase of filing cabinets. Then the expanding entry mode with editing mode, which includes the amount. And the details of the purchase then you have to add click add the voucher you can remove a journal voucher or delete an entry from a journal voucher as long as they have not been posted yet the journal voucher entry will not be posted unless approved by the supervisor for it be approved and posted in the accounting reports click post voucher okay this part posting of the voucher okay now reversal users can make input errors as a result, the journal entry created may contain incorrect information. So to provide an audit of the correction, the user must first reverse the journal entry in error and then capture the document correctly. Right, so to cancel manual journal entries, you need to locate the journal entry you wish to cancel using the arrows in the toolbar, then click reverse and update the journal entry. Okay, so this is the step one. When you can find the journals, the number two, you click reverse and update. That means it's already not there because you have changed. It's You've entered that, but you have reversed it, okay? All right, so now let's have transaction journal report. Transaction journal report displays a list of transactions according to a selected transaction type. To access, you have to go to financials, then you have to go to financial report, then you have to go to accounting, then you have to go to transaction journal, then you have to go to report, then click OK to produce the report. This one, financials, financial reports, accounting, transaction journal report, click OK. All right. So let's do our exercise class and the exercise coming from five, exercises 5.1 to 5.6 of your ex exercise book. OK. So I will have to uh, put the, that video or this exercise 5.1, 5.6 in the next video. Thanks, thank you so much class and see you again.